Thanks, Ewan. Now, yesterday we brought you a story about how climate change is affecting coffee growth in West Africa and across the world. The truth is that whether it's rising sea levels, desertification, torrential monsoons, melting glaciers, or ocean acidification, climate change is rapidly altering the landscape of our planet. Now, we may be one of the last generations to see some of the Earth's most cherished places. And here's our list of top five places to see before they vanish. Whoa, and you've just magically appeared. No, Dude, we, I'm we, a magician like that. We, we th and there are a lot of magicians on set this morning, but we need our weatherman in here for this, but it, <laughs> it actually um, starts to sink in when you take a look at, at how many of these natural wonders really have kicked in. But let's start with, um, I think, one of the most impressive, the Glacier National Park in Montana. A little more than 100 years ago, there were as many as 150 glaciers strewn throughout the Glacier National Park. By 2005, only 27 remained, and those glaciers are expected to disappear by 2030, if not earlier. Now, many of the plants and animal species that call the park home require cold water, meaning the ecosystem of the park may change dramatically when the sure. glaciers are gone. I mean, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, beautiful, Look at that. beautiful, beautiful. And then oh, the next one, I mean, as the lowest lying country on earth with an average elevation of around five feet above sea level, this beautiful island nation could be completely engulfed by water within the next uh, couple of years, actually, if sea levels continue to rise. And I mean, this is great. We're talking about the, the Maldives. I mean, this is in a, in a hundred years, we'll see the Maldive Islands disappearing. And um, the Maldivian government has purchased land in other countries for citizens who face displacement. This is how serious it really That's is. That's how real it is. That's heartbreaking. I, that. I just oh. had a trip to the Maldives cancelled, man. I'm now starting to get the relevance of that. You might not or something else, again, man. You know. Um, now, one of the most famous skiing regions in the world, the European Alps, extremely susceptible to climate change due to their low altitude. Around 3% of the alpine glacial ice is lost per year and experts believe that the glaciers could disappear entirely by 20 2050. Wow. Exactly, exactly. And then, of course, the, the Seychelles, the epitome of a tropical paradise. I mean, the Seychelles is a collection of around 115 islands in the Indian Ocean and home to numerous luxurious resorts. Yet the islands are in danger due to beach corrosion or beach erosion after already seeing a devastating coral die off. Now, some experts believe that in, you know, about 100 years or so, the entire archipelago could be submerged. I mean, wow, we're all about man. the Seychelles here. And I'm very lucky. I've been there. I've been to the Alps as well. And I've been to the <laughs> next destination. Oh, so I've, I've been there at least. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to get my passport out again. Well, one area which you might not expect, it really um, is a hotbed of tourist activity, the Italian city of Venice, long heralded as one of the most romantic in the world. It's facing ruin. Venice has long been sinking, but rising sea levels have made the situation even more dire now. The frequency of floods increases every year, leaving many to wonder how much longer Venice can stay above water, with some scientists predicting that Venice will be uninhabitable by the end of this year century. Yo, dude. This was a downer, man. Let, let me tell you, man, it's, it's <laughs> sad. If Venice goes, man, Venice, it's arguably the most romantic city I've ever been in. It oh, is man, I can't believe you've been to like four of the five places we've just spoken about. Well, you can start saving up for the next opportunity to visit these wonders of the world. It might be your last. Exactly. Wow. Start planning those trips. Right, Kat, what do you say, man, of these beautiful destinations slowly but surely disappearing?